Hi there, I'm Beth with 50 Plus Beauty, and I know I always say this, but I am so excited to have you here with me because you are here for one of my favorite series, and this is part number three, and this is basically my Saggy Skin series. However, in the last Saggy Skin video, I asked if you all would like to see Christine Weir's crepey skin pictures, and you said that you would, and basically she has been derma rolling her skin once a month for the past six, seven, eight months now, and I will show you her pictures, and I really appreciated Christine reaching out to me because she was just a viewer like all of you who was following along on my saggy skin cure experiment of derma rolling once per month to see if we could get rid of our saggy skin. And after about five months, she sent me her pictures and they were pretty crazy. And they were really good in terms of getting rid of not just saggy skin, but crepey skin on her forearm. And I'll show you those pictures in just a few moments. But if you're not a subscriber and you're interested in all the things we can do to keep ourselves looking and feeling good at 50 and above, then I hope you'll subscribe. And when you click that little bell, that just sends you email notifications of my future videos. And if you could give this video a thumbs up and or share it with a friend, that would help this video do better. And really, this is my favorite series. And I am on a total mission for all of us in our second half my mother is 85 years old and I've noticed that her skin is really getting crepey and saggy and she's getting those black bruises. My dad is also getting the black bruises and he even tore his skin. He had a band-aid on his forearm. And I just don't want any of us to end up like that. It is not because it's a beauty issue, although of course it is. It is really a health issue. Our skin is our body's largest organ and we really want to take care of it. And if there are things we can do to help improve our skin as we age, then I really want to find those things and I want to share them with you. Okay, let's get down to this. And I will tell you, I have a lot to share with you in this video. For those of you who have not seen the first two videos, they were six months apart, and it is the Saggy Skin Cure series of videos. And in the first video, I showed before pictures, and then every month for six months, once a month, I derma rolled my body skin all over my body, and then I showed the results after six months, and that's when Christine Weir also sent in her crepey skin cure pictures, and I will show you those in just a few moments. And many of you also ask for me to show you exactly how I derma roll my body skin. And so stick around because I will be showing you the whole process there. It is September 25th right now. I've got about five days before the first. And normally what I do is I set a calendar reminder in my cell phone at the first of each month to go ahead and derma roll again. But I figure I'm only five days off and I really wanted to show this process to you and you all have been waiting for this video for quite some time. So I'll do that in this video as well. And for those of you who haven't been here before, let me briefly show you my first six months results. And again, that was using just a little handheld derma roller once a month for six months. Here are the front of my legs. They're in February and they're six months later. And as you can see, the front of my legs in the before picture just look all chunky and dimpled and not smooth at all. And then six months later, they're much smoother. And I will tell you out of all the results that I had on the various parts of my body, the fronts of my thighs were the most important to me because about three years ago, I stopped wearing shorts altogether because my legs had just started to look like old lady legs and I didn't like it. So anyway, let me show you the backs of my legs. And here I am in February, and after six months of derma rolling once a month, look at how smooth the backs of my legs ended up, just much smoother and maybe a little bit younger looking. And now let's look at my tummy. And here is a picture before of my tummy, February 22nd. And there it is after six months of derma rolling on August 9th. And as you can see, a lot of those little scars, a lot of those little stretch marks have kind of smoothed out. The stretch marks are still there because you can never get rid of them, but basically it did smooth them out a great deal and make the whole area of the tummy look a lot better. And here are my bat wings, and I won't belabor this point, but over six months, the sagginess that I had in my underarm area on January 22nd was becoming greatly reduced six months later on August 9th. Okay, and for those of you who are new to my channel, at any point, just feel free to join in, grab a derma roller, and see if this works on your body. Although I will say, which I always have to say, I'm not a doctor or a dermatologist, so please consult with your physician if you have any worries about doing derma rolling on your own body. Okay, let's get into Christine Ware's pictures. And first, let me show you a little picture of Christine. And there she is. She's absolutely darling. And Christine, thank you, thank you, thank you for sending me your results pictures. I was so surprised to get them. And any of you out there who are taking pictures along the way of this process, 
I would love you to email me your pictures too, and I'll put my email below the video, but let's get back to Christine's results. And here they are. And as you can see, she has taken a picture of her forearm. On March 1st, she has quite a bit of crepiness, and basically Christine said that she had lost a great deal of weight, and that's when she thought the crepiness really came on strong. But this is March 1st on the far left, and as you can see, her skin is quite crepey and has a lot of texture to it. And then on May 9th, which is just two months later, Christine's skin is really firming up. A lot of that excess skin just seems to be really getting a lot firmer, a lot smoother, and as you can see, the crepiness and the texture is really starting to go away. And then on August 2nd, as you can see, she has continued her progression. With that skin firming up still more, the big wrinkles are not there really anymore, and even the crepiness, which looked a little alligatory on March 1st and May 9th, and even that alligator-type texture has gotten much less on August 2nd, which is six months of results. And Christine, your results were just beautiful. And what they show us is that not only is derma rolling really good for skin sagginess, it is also good for our texture and our crepiness, which is something we all fight as we get a little older than 50. And Christine, if you're out there watching this video, I hope you'll post a comment in the comment section below and let us know how you're doing. And if you want to share more pictures with me, feel free. And Christine, thank you again for sharing those wonderful pictures with me. I know it's very informative for all of us, and that is yet another piece in the puzzle of improving our skin as we age. Now next, I'm going to be showing you exactly how I do my monthly derma rolling sessions. I'll be going into the bathroom for that. And after I show you my derma rolling treatment for this month, I'll come back and show you some new products I'm adding to my skin regimen for my arms, and that way we can find out over time if the new products I'm going to be adding do produce good results. But let's go ahead and let me show you my derma rolling process. Okay, normally I have my husband Allie here to man the camera, but today I don't have that, so I'll just do the best I can. And I am wearing a swimming suit here. In fact, this was in my Amazon haul video, and if you need a swimsuit, I think it's really, really cute. And it's nice because you can either make it look like a one piece, or you can even make it look like a bikini, well, something like that. And I will show you that in just a few moments because I'll be derma rolling my tummy too. But I'll go ahead and start with my arms with the bat wings. And I use this timeless hyaluronic acid. And basically hyaluronic acid is a wonderful moisturizer for your skin. They say it attracts like a thousand times its weight in water. But the main reason we're using this is actually for the slip factor because you want some moisture to really make that derma roller slip over your skin. Let's go ahead and do the upper bat wing first, the upper arms. I'll go ahead and put some down there too. And basically I take my 1.5 derma roller and I'm just going to go one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Then I'll get back here. One, two, I'll go over the elbow. Three, four, five. Over here, one, two, three, four, five. And on the tummy, I go perpendicular as well. I make crosses basically on my tummy, but because this is a long skinny surface and arm, I don't do that. I just go up and down. And since I'm not able to go crosswise, because when I used to go crosswise, I realized that sometimes I would go too fast and I would actually cut myself a little bit. So it's much easier just to go straight up and down. And I would say I do about maybe a total of 10 up and downs in each spot. And I try to get the backs too, because that's where the bat wings are. And then sometimes I go over the elbow again. The elbow is not very attractive. Two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And I do go crosswise here. One, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. And I'm not drawing blood, I'm just going to a little bit of redness, they call that arrhythmia. And then I'll do a little diagonal here. Two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Elbows are really ugly, aren't they? Two, three, four, five. Especially after 60 some years. Diagonally the other way. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, now I've gotten the top part of the arm and the elbow done. Now I'm going to add a little more hyaluronic acid 
to the lower arm because definitely the skin gets very thin on the lower arm. And I'll add it to the backs of my hands too, although I might have to add a little more. We'll go ahead and do this. One, two, three, four, five. Four, five. I avoid these veins. One, two, three, four, five. Then we're gonna go one, two, three, four, five. We'll just get six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now move. Now let's add a little more hyaluronic acid to the hand, back of the hand. So I'll just kind of lotion that up there. And then you just go one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Go over the knuckles. One, two, three, four, five. Then we'll go across. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Five, one, two, three, four, five. Diagonal, five. Now diagonal the other way. If I can figure this out. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, that is one arm done. Now let's go ahead and I'll show you the tummy and then I'll start the whole process on the other side of the body, but I won't make you watch that because that's just a little long and dull since we've just done it. Okay, let me get the camera adjusted. Okay, again, I'm going to be using the hyaluronic acid quite a bit, maybe three. I'm gonna get the little love handle areas too because they have some stretch marks, fun, fun, fun. So much fun to gain 75 pounds when you're pregnant with your first child. Should have never done that. Okay, we're just gonna go up and down here. We'll start here. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And hold the scan. Two, three, four, five. Kind of tighten it. Two, three, whoops, four, five. Grab my bikini there. Five, and you're pressing firmly, two, three, four, five, but you're not drawing blood, four, five, and it doesn't hurt a great deal. It just feels a little uncomfortable. Let's go here, one, two, three, four, five, and again, try to hold the skin taut, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. I'm gonna go ahead and get those, one, two, three, four, five. I think I need a little more hyaluronic acid. Now I've gone up and down. Now I want to go side to side on the belly. Bring this up a little bit. One, two, three, four, five. Five, now we'll do diagonals. One, two, three, four, five. Five, we're getting red. Two, two, three, four, five. And two, three, four, five. I'll go ahead and do this side since I'm here. Got to get that other love handle, don't we? One, two, three, four, five. Four, two, three, four, five. Other diagonal. One, two, three, four, five. Thank goodness you only have to do this once a month. One, two, three, four, five. It doesn't hurt, but it takes a while. Two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Whew. Okay, and as you can see, my belly is nice and red, as it should be. Okay, now I'm going to move the camera in just a little bit. I need to show you doing my legs. So we'll try this, we'll see how it goes. Okay, again, I need some hyaluronic acid and I'll do the right thigh first and the other one I'll do off camera. I do the fronts and the back and I also do the knees. Here we go. I'll start on the inside. One, two, three, four, five, six seven, eight, nine, ten. Now I'm going to get the back of my thigh and I'll need some more hyaluronic acid. And I'll just do it kind of like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and then move it. Now I also get this little area here, this lower butt, but I won't show you that. A woman has to have some pride. So I'll just kind of do it here. One, two, three, four, five. Now I'll go ahead and do my knee and I'll just add hyaluronic acid there. And this is the knee where I have my scar from having the knee replacement, but here we go. Two, three, four, five. It's easier if you straighten it out. Two, two, three, four, five. 
and I will go across here two, three, four, five, three, four, five. Now, although I don't show my shins in the video, I've started doing my shins as well because I have realized that this firms up the skin all over the body and why not? So here we go. One, two, three, four, five, Okay, that is derma rolling half of my body. Now I'm going to go off camera, derma roll the other half of my body, and I'll be done for the month, which is just great. And I'll see you back in the camera room. Okay, that was a look at my monthly derma rolling process. And I plan to continue that on until I don't see any more improvements and probably indefinitely, I have to admit, because what it does is it rebuilds your collagen, which is really wonderful at this age. And an important point to remember is that on your body, you should never go any deeper than a one millimeter derma roller or a 1.5. And I use a 1.5 on my body. And it is super important to make sure your derma roller is clean. I generally derma roll after I've had a shower and I always make sure that whenever I've used the derma roller, I sanitize it very well with alcohol and let it air dry. And then I put it back in its case and just make sure that it's kept in a very sanitary way. Okay, in my last video, which was my six month saggy skin results video where I showed my result pictures, I did mention that I was going to start using tretinoin on my arms. And really, I shouldn't have said that so soon because I really needed to tell you that it's very, very, very little tretinoin that I'm using. And I decided to use the tretinoin for two reasons. The first is that there is a study which talks about using tretinoin on the arm skin and that it really does thicken up the arm skin. And I will link that study below. And then I went to my dermatologist and asked her about the safety of using tretinoin on your body skin. And she said that as long as for both of your arms, you just used a pea size amount, which is about the amount you use in your face, as long as you just used a pea size amount and mixed it with moisturizer, and that is one pea sized amount for both arms, you should be just fine. And I will say my dermatologist said this was okay for me as long as I just used the little pea sized amount but I would recommend that you also talk to your own healthcare professional. And, and again, for both of your arms, you use just a little pea-sized amount, and it is like a lassoor pea, not even a big pea. See, that's just a little, little tiny amount of Retin-A. Let me put the lid on here. And then I mix that with a moisturizer, and I have been using the Nivea Skin Firming and Toning Cream. It says that it tones your skin in as little as two weeks, and this has coenzyme Q10, which is a known skin firmer. It's been proven in studies to do that. I just take that little pea-sized amount, and I put about this much there of the gel there, of the skin firming, and I should not be doing this because I have jewelry on and whatever. And I do go down on my arms and I do go down on my hand as well. And at night I don't have all this jewelry on, but I just rub it all over my skin like that. And just like when you're using tretinoin on your face, watch your arms. And if your arms can't take it or if you get too red and irritated, maybe start with one or two nights a week and go up slowly. But again, I can't emphasize this highly enough you are not using pure tretinoin on your arms. It's just that little pea-sized amount, basically half a pea on each arm, and any kind of moisturizer you like. But I will link this one below because I really do like this one, and it supposedly helps with skin firming. Okay, and then I sleep in it like that, let it dry a little bit and sleep in it. And then in the morning, I use this Glytone Exfoliating Body Lotion, just two pumps of that, because a little goes a long way with this because this is a glycolic acid and it's kind of a strong one. It's 17.5% is the amount of glycolic acid in this. And I'll show you about how much I use. And I just do two pumps of that, which is about that much. And then I just rub it all over. I'll, I guess I'll go ahead and do this. Normally you don't use a glycolic acid right along with your Tretin-A, but my skin is very tough and I know that I can take that. Anyway, I just kind of use that as my body lotion in the morning. And I will say that Melissa55, she absolutely recommended this very highly in terms of hand skin. She said it really made her hands look good. And thank you so much, Melissa, because that's how I came upon this Glytone Exfoliating Body Lotion. And so far, so good on my arms. But I will say it's very important not to overdo this and to give your body time to acclimate to it. So start with less of this rather than more. And just like with the tretinoin, if you find your skin gets a little too irritated with this, then back off for a night or two or maybe even three because a little bit of this really does go a long way.
Okay, that was a look at my third video in my long-term series, I guess it's about seven or eight months now, of solving crepey and saggy skin. And if you're not a subscriber and you're interested in joining us in solving your own saggy or crepey skin, then I hope you'll subscribe. And when you click that little bell, that just sends you an email notification every time I have a new idea that I'd like to share with you. Okay, I always like to leave you with a little thought for the day. Let's go ahead and choose a card, something great and positive to think about for today. Here we go. Releasing anger from the past sets me free in the present. Releasing anger from the past sets me free in the present. Oh friends, I have shared this with you before, but in my first half, I had a real tendency to hold on to anger and hurt and just nurse it and ruminate about it and think about it. And you know, that did me no good at all. Those of you who followed my channel know that at one point, after I worked with my parents' company for maybe six, eight years, I sold National Walmart and I got fired. That caused an anger in me that lasted for about maybe five years and I think it really hurt my health. And in fact, I think that's one of the reasons that I came down with that rheumatoid arthritis and looking back, I realized that all that anger and resentment that I nursed and held onto and nurtured within my heart didn't hurt them one bit, it only hurt me. So friends, I'm here to tell you from my own personal experience, whether you have to pray over that issue or meditate over it, whatever you have to do to let it go, I urge you to do that because releasing anger from the past sets you free in the present moment. Take care and I'll see you in my next video.